the county supervisor. Thank you, former supervisor Cordum. You know, when they say uh, granddaddy, it has nothing to do with age, but it has everything to do to do with uh, the ability to have that say and that power. So, Bill, it's truly a pleasure not just to be here with you, but I've always thought of Bill as ha being someone with big shoes to fill, and literally, I just figured that out today. You do have big <laughs> shoes to fill. So, uh, first and foremost, I want to welcome everybody here uh, to the fifth district of Sonoma County. If you're not from the county. And actually, I want to take the first opportunity to uh, make a few words uh, before uh, uh, representing the Board of Supervisors. Uh, yesterday morning, uh, we had the opportunity through the Water Agency and through the County of Sonoma uh, to have a sit-down uh, meeting uh, with Jane Lepchenko, who is the administrator to the National Oceanographic uh, and Atmospheric Administration. And we were specifically speaking to fisheries restoration, uh, climate change, and some of the efforts that we're doing here in the county to be energy independent and to not depend on fossil fuels and other resources. So I had to ask her about the magnitude of what's going on in the Gulf of Mexico. And I said, Jane, give me your perspective being the administrator of NOAA, what this impact means. And she says, Efren, this is, in the environmental words of, uh, of, of, from her perspective, the worst environmental disaster that she can think of. It's unfathomable, it's unthinkable. And quite frankly, for us to be in this position to even consider this happening again, she says, Efren, it, it, it's, I can't even start to explain to you what this means to our environment and what this means to the long-term health of, 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 our, of our planet. Uh, the Board of Supervisors unanimously has taken a position to oppose offshore oil drilling. Yay. It has done it in the past. It will continue. Yay. It will continue to do so as necessary. Uh, there is no question the biodiversity that we're protecting out here in the oceans, as well as the economic uh, uh, vitality. Uh, environmentally, economically, there is no more that we can do here to protect this coast and protect the oceans. And I'm here to pledge to you that the Board of Supervisors, as long as I'm on the board, will continue to oppose offshore oil drilling and to look around here, we have local, you have state, you have federal support to oppose this. And today we join in really having a, a, a unified voice as far as opposing this. I want to finish by thanking Tom Roth and Congresswoman Woolsey for uh, introducing H.R. 223, uh, the Marine Expansion Act. We have great representation at the federal level, great representation at the state level. And for me, it's truly an honor at the local level to be together with you in this fight. So no offshore oil drilling here on our coast. Thank you all for supporting this. Yay! Okay, now I would like to introduce Richard Murphy, Dave Yarger, and Don Martin, who are representatives of tourism, fishing, and our recreation industries, all of which are very, very dependent on having a lovely coastline as opposed to an oil-soaked one. Good morning, and thank you for letting me be here. Um, <clears throat> One of the things that's really happening in my industry, the, the hospitality industry, the, is that last year the state got together and we put together a conference in Asilomar, the first sustainable uh, industry conference throughout what's going on in the hospitality industry. And I got to tell you that it's really uh, a very, very impressive uh, effort that's being made throughout the hospitality industry and the, and the tourism industry and not just people using the same sheets the next day, whatever, in the hotels, but millions and millions of dollars being saved by the industry by understanding what it is to really recycle. What we're really, really what's all about here is to look at clean energy. We all need to have clean energy. And uh, this county here is a leader in the, in the state for this, what they call the Skype program, which a lot of you probably already know about, and that is that we can put solar on our roof and the county basically will loan us the money to do it. So I encourage all of you, I have just recently did it at my, my residence, to look at that program because it does help save a lot of energy. That's what we have to really do here is look at the electric and look at the solar situation about how we're going to save uh, our energy and, and not be dependent upon petroleum products. That's, that's really the th big thing. So. Also, next spring, uh, there is going to be a, uh, a ride, a bicycle ride from San Francisco to Santa Rosa, it's the Russian River, and back to San Francisco, all on bicycles, or we're going to have the little train 
situation going up and down the tracks for us, that we're going to have bring awareness to people to raise the consciousness of alternative transportation. Yay. So it's about transportation issues here that we're all looking at, and hopefully all of us will be driving an electric car in the next five years. Thank you very much.